community leader wants the state to do more about the vacant properties that it ends up inheriting. While the state is figuring out what to do with the land, squatters and vandals can live there without repercussions. The Pearl City Neighborhood Board chairperson says he's tackling the problem in order to improve his neighborhood. It all started with Sunset Memorial Park in Pearl City. Eight years ago, when Larry Varey assumed the role of neighborhood board chairperson, this was one of the big problems he had to take on. There were vagrants and vandals, drugs and crime really messing up the graveyard. And Varey learned not a thing he could do about it. No one could just have the HPD or the Sheriff's Department come on a property and, and evict somebody from the land. Uh, it has to be an owner. And unfortunately, no matter if it's, if it's a cemetery, it's the same type of situation and policy for private homes. Even when there's illicit activity happening there, people can't call the cops to go remove them because there's no real trespass going on because there's no owner. That's the state senator for the area who also helps with the cemetery issue. Turns out if someone dies and no relatives come forward to claim their share in the property, the entire estate goes to the state. It takes a long time for the state to figure out a way ahead for these properties. And during that period, there's a gap. And that's an opportunity for squatters to move into the neighborhood, move on to cemeteries, other private land. And law enforcement can't remove them because there's no owner. Vare drafted a resolution to present at the next neighborhood board meeting. It essentially says this. You want the state to take more and quicker responsibility. Yes, yes. there should not be a gap in there. If there is a problem with squatters on property, whether it's private or reef city, we need to take care of that. The race says it's not just about upholding the law. It could be about protecting lives. When you got squatters, eventually that house is going to get burned down some way. Hmm. And it threatens the lives of the other families and elderly that can't get out of their houses in time when there's a fire. If the board approves it, he'll take it to his area representatives. We also got to send a clear message to those violators. We're not going to put up with it. Veray says he's doing it for his community, but neighborhoods all over the state would benefit. In Pearl City, Diana Co. KITV4, Island News.